thanks for having me here in the summertime. Isn't it swell? <laughs> Been out showing off my body, trying to get a, a little fatter. <laughs> Figured I could go skinny, but who wants to be skinny? No one wants to hang out with skinny. Skinny's always whining. Never hear your fat friend say something like, no, I really shouldn't. You walk with your fat friend, middle of the night. You want to stop for some pizza? Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I don't eat carbs after six. <laughs> or crumbs or air particles. <laughs> Shut up or I'll eat you too. <laughs> it's fun getting fat. I have an obligation to get fat. I'm an American. That's how the whole world knows us. Look at you Americans with your fat asses. <laughs> yeah, but we have all the food. <laughs> Can't blame us. We have more food in one of our gas stations than they have in all of Mexico. <laughs> you see the size of our children? <laughs> Holy cow. My nephew's bicycle has a cup holder. When I was little, there was always a fat kid in class. Now they're all the fat kid. You see him on the sidewalk, all out of breath. <sighs> what are you doing? Game Boy. <laughs> like getting fat. That's why I got married. It's true, you're single all those years, running around like a jackass, trying to stay in shape. As soon as you get married, finish line. It's in the rules. Like, I love you, you love me. We can't have sex with other people. Let's eat a chocolate cake. <laughs> you want ice cream on that? <laughs> you bet your fat ass I do. <laughs> I know I'm with the right person, because I can sleep with her. That's the good test, you know? If you can sleep with her, marry her. Because we're all disgusting when we sleep. Everyone in here, different degrees, but you're disgusting. You are. You ever see your old pillow without its pillowcase? Come on. It looks like a bandage from the Civil War. Apparently, as soon as we close our eyes, we're leaking syrup. My wife sleeps with her mouth wide open. Ah. Uh. Goes to sleep like an angel, ends up like a walrus. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether I should kiss her or toss fish at her. <laughs> and she does that half eye open thing just to scare the crap out of me. Yeah. <laughs> Licking her lips. Mm -hmm. Afraid she's gonna take a bite out of me. But I'm protected because she steals all the covers, wraps herself up like a toasty enchilada. I'm laying naked next to her, shivering like the victim of an alien abduction dropped off in the woods. Try and get a little covers back. <laughs> then you just give up. I'll just take the corner. That's really all I need. I guess half an ass cheek is better than no ass cheek. We have a daughter at home. She just turned one last weekend. We had this little party for her. Thousand dollars for a one year old's Yeah, American, yeah. <laughs> Why? She didn't even know it was Saturday. <laughs> Why are we giving presents to this person? She just wants to eat the wrapping paper. But you gotta give her something. You look like an ass in front of all the other adults, you know? We got her Grand Theft Auto for PlayStation. <laughs> she really enjoys it. I love her so much, you know, I really do. That's why I'm just gonna have one. Because you have more than one kid, then you gotta decide which one you like better. That's always mean. <laughs> oh, it's true. Parents always say, oh, we like them all the same. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> oh, you love them all, of course, but there's always that one kid, you know, if he got lost. <laughs> no, you'll look for him. Not right away. 
I like being the dad. I like being the dad. I can't be the mom. A lot of guys now want to be the mom. They're a very girly generation of men. I don't know what happened to men. They even say things like, we're pregnant. They're like, oh, we're five and a half months. <laughs> we are nothing. <laughs> I made a deposit back in September. <laughs> Pretty much been drinking ever since. Guys are girly. I don't know what happened. Men used to be tough. Now it's into fashion and guys go to hair salons, dyeing the tips blonde. What happened to men? Men go to barber shops. Big fat guy cuts your hair. Look more like a plumber than a hairstylist. <laughs> right at big pickle fingers. Couldn't even fit him in the scissors. As soon as you walk in, he just punch you in the face and cut your hair. Get some nose hairs, just grab him and yank him out. And he cut your hair in one style, whatever his was. I was a 12-year-old kid walking around with a comb over. <laughs> Thank you all very much. And this was her argument. She goes, what if one of those illegal immigrants that we see in the neighborhood tries to break into the house and rape me? I'm like, what do your fantasies have to do with this? It's like, what do you want to be, Tyler? A basketball player. <laughs> Really, Tyler, your family only eats Pop-Tarts. How is that gonna work out? You're gonna lose energy on the